Howdy gang, we're back. It's another Mail Monday. Look at all the stuff. I don't even know where to start. That me neither. I, I, it's like Christmas. Yeah, I guess left to right, that's what we're, we'll do. Or even better, this is left. Let's to right, right to left. I, it's left to, it's... Let's round robin this. Let's jump around. That'll be fun. We'll keep them on their toes. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna start over here with some of our natural farms bully sticks. These were given to us by Terry Berry, who has an excellent name, yeah, and she's given us four things, so we'll make sure to give you a shout out. And let me tell you about these bully sticks. There's nothing here that works better than the bully sticks to get the whole kennel calm. And let me tell you, they it'll actually keep them busy for 30 minutes to an hour, and we usually give these to them at, every, at the end of every night before we put them in their kennels, before they go to sleep. And it literally quiets the whole entire place and everyone ends on a very positive note at the end of the day. Oh, it's great. You just hear crickets out there. It's fantastic. What do we got over there? What do you see, Josh? Right, let's see. Oh, I, I want to play with these here because like, people are probably going to be like, why do they put like lick mats on there? We got Michelle Drollinger. Whoa, that's a cool name. So we got these. These are called lick mats. So as you see on the back of them, they have suction cups. So you literally put them there. With, you see all the peanut butter that we have here. We put the peanut butter in there, or other treats, or even you can even freeze them, stick them. And you can even put them up on the wall, like if you're grooming them, to slow their mind down a little bit. So they're focused on this and not focused on the grooming. You know, so it makes them more of a positive experience. Or you can put it on the floor in the kennel, just as an enrichment game for them, etc. Or if we have dogs who are just eating really, really fast, we can actually, like Addy, we can put these at the bottom of the food bowl, put peanut butter on it, and then we can put the regular food on top of it. So it, when, when everyone else is done eating, she can still be licking on this and not getting the rest of the kindles all riled up while we're eating. And it looks like the same person also donated one of the maize bowls. I think everyone remembers these. We asked for a lot of these in the past. Um, basically, when we feed the dogs, it's a one to be part of the enrichment process. So we're trying to slow their minds while they're eating. So anytime that we spend time with the dog, we want it to be a training, a positive experience, but also an enrichment type experience for them. All right, guys, we asked for a lot of these red, white, and blue leashes. These are gonna be for a program we're starting called Doggy Day Out. We're super excited to get a lot of these. Essentially, we're gonna have volunteers come, take our dogs out and about, get them off the ranch, get them used to the real world. And we are super stoked to start that. These are all from the Skaggs family and Sarah Kelly. Thank you. What else we got? I got to mention the egg. The egg. The egg. <laughs> the reason why I chose out the egg is because this is going to be Bison's favorite toy. Whoever wow. donated this, you know, go like and share Bison's page, and we'll try to get pictures of him playing with the egg. Right now, he has a bowling ball that he's just in love with. It's a plastic ball, and he likes to play bowling. But this is going to be more exciting for him as it's awkward shape as well. And this was donated by Stephanie, no last name. Makes it easier for me because I can never pronounce people's last names. She has one last name. She's like Cher. Yeah. <laughs> or Madonna. That's great. What else do we got? Jolly Ball. Jolly Ball from Melanie. No last name. These things are amazing. Our dogs have been running around with these like knuckleheads just enjoying themselves. It's one of the number one here. yard tool toys that we have for the dogs. And it helps work them out. Like you got to see Toby play with it. It is the funniest thing in the world. He's the only dog that can actually pick up the whole entire large jolly ball. And he'll run around all day with that jolly ball in his mouth. It's become his baby. These are something we use every day. And we are thrilled to start getting tons of these. Thank you, Melanie. Oh, my turn. I'm going with the bazooka. Oh, I was going to keep the bazooka. Oh, I know. I'm excited. So we're trying to... We use, Try to spend way more time with the dog and have a lot more fun activities, not just for us to do with the dogs, but also for the volunteers to come do. So we're trying to make it fun and exciting, also for like the, the kids or whatever. But honestly, I asked for a couple of these because I'm thinking that we're just gonna have our own little tennis ball nerf war out there with the staff and the dogs. So it's gonna be really exciting to watch the dogs just go crazy over this and for the staff just to have fun with them as well. And once again, we're gonna thank Sally J for this awesome uh, toy. Like, this is probably going to be the first thing I honestly go play with as soon as this video is done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Both these are from Luana Horscott. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Here we got a little tennis ball toy that the dogs are going to have a blast with. This is a very high-functioning one that we could also put treats in. Very difficult to tear out. 
And this also from Luana is a diffuser. We're probably gonna start asking for a lot of these. Believe it or not, dog rescues kind of stink. So we're thrilled to get these, get it to smelling a lot better here. We can also, also use this. Aromatherapy. Oh, stepping yeah. on my toes, No, Josh. you go for it, it's all you. We can also use it for aromatherapy, help unlock dogs' noses, you know. A lot of behavioral issues are caused because dogs don't use their nose. They try to rely on their eyes, ears. These are excellent tools for helping with that. What yeah. do we got, Josh? Okay, I got the exciting item. I got bowls or buckets, I should say. Super fun. Go. I would say it was starting to get real hot out here, um, so we are in a demand for like um, water buckets uh, or even larger buckets or even pools that we can start putting in the yards. Um, we already have dogs already trying to start swimming in the little tiny ones as possible. So ideally, everywhere there should be enough buckets on our kennels, in our yards, etc. You know, we should uh, have multiple water sources for the dogs to be available to. Uh, we can even start putting them on our hiking trails, etc. So our dogs are always uh, got access to their water. So uh, I think I got three here, and I let me see. They're all under the same name. They're all different names. So I got I got Michelle James, and I got a Tracy Hansen. And I have a Julie Benedum? Benedum? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Give me that away. Okay, I got a few of these. This is from Ahmed Mohammed. And what is this? Josh, I picked something I don't know what this is. It's a football. It's a football. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's a tough squeaker for dogs like Champ. This is one of the favorite things to do. If we have a, like a little soft squeaker for Champ, he'll just destroy it like that as his teeth is sharp and he has a strong bite. But with stuff like this, he can still do his little squeaking without having to worry about destroying our toys. So it's just a heavy duty toy. All these ridges help give them different textures yep. to bite onto. Yep. That's beautiful. That's so, so good. A lot of these toys, when I put them on the wish list, it's something that we want to do as an event with either our volunteers or the dogs, or it's something that we know one of the dogs here in particular would like. Like we know that this is going to go straight to Toby, which is his favorite toy, and we have dogs who have a favorite of the stuffed animals. You know, we got dogs who prefer like the, the hooves. So, uh, if you are ever interested in why we selected a certain item or which dog it's going to, let us know. Maybe uh, comment below in this live video and we will try our best to try to get a picture with the dog who goes with that item. like it. Didn't even know the camera was on me. Okay, Cole Christensen has given us not only this leash, a Remington lead, which are Josh's favorite. They are my favorite. <laughs> Just imagine but the dogs are also... train in those things. Oh, guys, the greatest way to build a connection is a leash with a dog. It's the best thing we can do to help enrich them, get them to not only become more obedient, but to learn that humans are here to guide them, to teach them, to put them in situations that they can overcome and that won't be too much for them. I mean, it might sound silly to say, but this could be the number one tool to actually save lives here. Oh, it is. Because yeah. it's literally what we use to bond, we use it for training, we use it for everything. So that's the reason why we have a high, high demand for these leashes, because we go through them like crazy, and we want to make sure that we have enough leashes for all of our dogs. They are the most valuable tool we have here. Second, well, Close second are our hooves. Oh yeah. <laughs> the dogs love these hooves. It's, it works a lot like the bully stick. The Gets only it plus nice side and wide. to these is because you can use them as like like, we, like a calm. So currently in our freezer right now we have uh, hooves like this and we fill them with the Marib's broth and put it in there and we froze them. So now it's actually an enrichment toy that lasts even longer. So we could probably get like an hour or two of enjoyment out of these, especially with the cool summers. But also, like I said, it's just a bone for them to chew on. Lovely. What do we got there? Okay. Since I interrupted oh, you twice, you have to interrupt me twice. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Okay, okay so this is exciting. Out. I know this looks like just another uh, leash, but this is a holster for a uh, yeah. holter. Sorry, not holster. Really a quick, holster. we have a question in here. Uh, someone's wanting to know, uh, Morgan's wanting to know, uh, where she can find the uh, wish list. The wish list. It's that is a... One. That's a great question, yes. There's a couple places you can go. You go to our website, marleysmutts.org. At the very bottom will be a little sticker kind of tag. 
It'll say Amazon wish list. You click on that. Yeah. That's the quickest, easiest way to find it. And I'm updating. I'm updating these wish lists weekly based on the demands that we have currently, as well, or things that we're planning in the future for certain events or whatever. Um, right now, you're probably going to see a lot more out outdoor activities as we're going into spring. Um, and you're also going to start seeing a lot more summer stuff as well, as it is already starting to get warmer. Oh. So, like, moving through the pool and all that. So, please pay attention to our wish list, as these are things that we are in need of now. So, but I'm going to go back to the halter. Uh, so, we're actually in the process of building as a lean to or like a four stall, because we have a goat named Ollie. He's kind of our mascot here, he's the greatest animal on the planet. Hey, you're the dog. Uh, dancer! Come here, Mama. That beautiful. Come here. Oh, always stealing oh, my thunder, aren't you? That's dude? him. That's him. Good boy. So we're gonna be taking in probably more goats um, here in the uh, very near future to give Ollie some friends because uh, goats require just as much enrichment, exercise, and socialization as a dog does. So these holters will actually help us train the new goats that will be coming in as well. And looks like we got two of those. And then, of course, also, this is what I would say, number third in line for it, after the bully sticks, then the, the hooks, is these bones here as well. Like I said, we do a lot of in kennel enrichment to keep them calm and happy. Chewing is a natural behavior, so we're constantly making sure that all these needs are being met on a regular basis. So, we then, actually have someone asking if there's snow back there. Actually, it's just super overexposed when we're shooting inside. It's actually a beautiful day at the ranch. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And then once again, another maze ball. We can't have enough of these guys. We have about 25 dogs here at any given time. So, and they these need to be dirty. So we need a lot of them at all, at all time. I think right now we have up to six. So we don't even have enough for all the dogs. Ideally, this is how we're, exactly how we're gonna feed the dogs on a regular basis, at least in the mornings. And then in the evenings, they'll be fed in regular bowls because at the e evening, they also get a bone. So pretty awesome. So we're gonna give a huge another thank to Fran. I can't even say your last name. Can we just zoom in on it? We need Dylan over here to, to, to read it. And then we'll <laughs> um, display what Fran stuff. donated all the stuff. So. Oh, you, you're seeing all the good stuff. Yeah, that's me. what you got me. Guilty as charged. These are all from Christine Roberts, more of our slip leads for our doggy day out program. Some canine connoisseur patellas and the paw nut butter we love to use to fill all of our treats. Keep it coming. Thank you and for our bringing our, new, uh, our lick mats for the peanut butter. We have a lick mats, another slow feeder, and an antler. These are tremendous guys for keeping dogs entertained, keeping them enriched, and it helps uh, clean the teeth a bit. These are phenomenal, and these also came to us from Santina Santo Stefano. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Oh my gosh, that's a long one. Yeah, we're, we're dog people, we don't read people's names. Okay. Exactly. All right guys, this is actually one that I'm super excited about. Like I said, we'd like to do a lot of activities with the dogs, and soccer is actually one of my favorite things to do with the dogs, but uh, recently we've had to do a lot of indoor activities, especially when it gets hotter. So this allows us, this is cool, this is like hovering soccer ball that we can play with indoors and it kind of skates around almost like you're on like uh, like the air hockey games, you know? So it's really cool, really easy to play. The dogs love to chase them, we love to kick them. So we can play indoor soccer with the dogs and it's going to be a lot of fun. And y'all be seeing it soon as we've got some videos. We actually did indoor bowling with the dogs and it was a blast, it was so much fun. So having a lot of stuff like this is absolutely amazing. And I want to personally thank Carly Hawks because you're just, you just made my day. This is one of my favorite items that we got this week. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, that's going to be killer. The yeah. dogs are going to enjoy it. I'm also jealous because I did not get to bowl with dogs. They did that on my day off. We do so, all the fun stuff here and I here. Yeah, of course, of course. So I'm going to play, I'm going to play some soccer with the dogs. <laughs> we got Lick Mats also from Santina. Santo Stefano and more of these little balls and what these are great for just keeping the dogs engaged We could also throw treats in there to have them try to fish it out. Excellent enrichment tool. Thanks again What is that Josh? Well, what do you have there? Andrea Pates donated 
a bungee tug toy for a tree. So as you can see here, I don't know if you will see right there, you we can actually attach this to a tree or uh, a pole, anything like that. So the dog can play tug of war with themselves when uh, we can't get to the dogs that day. Um, like I said, we have over 25 dogs. Usually there's only two staff members here on a regular basis. So we wanna make sure that the dogs are gonna be completely entertained until we can find time to get to them. No more tired arms. No. That's awesome. I had no idea they made such thing. That's so oh, cool. Yeah. They all get all different kinds. And we'll knock out this whole pile here. Slow feeder from Karen Jacobson. Also from Karen Jacobson are some day packs. Little packs we throw on our dogs when they're out and about. We can also kind of make them a makeshift little weighted vest. This is gonna be Zach's favorite thing too. Oh Zach gosh. goes hiking with the dogs nonstop and so do I as well. But now these also will offer the dog a job when they're on a hike. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm gonna make them carry their own poop. Okay? But like as he was saying, you could use them now as a training vest as well for you could put like little small weights in there, etc., just to help tire out some of the dogs and uh, you know, basically give them a job. We also have some lick mats, Pam Bruskin and Amy S. Thomas gave us a big old gorilla chew. It's exactly what it looks like, guys. A giant hunk of wood. The dogs seem to really like these. They hold up a lot better than these uh, bully sticks and some of our other treats we give them. So these are amazing. And what else do you have there, Josh? What so other? We have another donation of another style of tug toy that you could use in the yard. So this one here is actually more versatile as we don't need a tree. We could just literally screw it into the ground and we put it anywhere. So if we're currently working with another dog, I could just take this with me, put it in the ground, and then keep that dog entertained while we're working on the other dog. So it's more versatile, I can move it. When the ones that are usually tied to trees, we have to be somewhere near a structured um, uh, item that we could tie to. This one does not require that. And this is a special thanks to Mohammed Mohammed. Ahmed Mohammed. Ahmed Mohammed. He's given a few things. He's been super great. Uh, this didn't have a tag with it, but this is a very high quality, very nice dog hoodie from, oh, there it is, Zhao Meng out there in LA. Thank you, because I imagine this is pricey. This is cool. really you know, nice. All about the yeah, Ooh, really oh high. Did you see that? That's high quality. That's like guys, y'all can't tell, but like this is like the nicest material I ever felt in a doggy sweatshirt. Yeah, like, I'm not even joking. Yeah, I I think he got this from uh, out there in Beverly Hills or something, out from the garment district, right? Like, <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, it's like it's ludicrous. It is kind of one of those things where like I don't like petting a dog when they're wearing these because you want to pet the dog's fur. But this thing's actually soft. I'm gonna pet this instead of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on one of our dogs with rough fur. <laughs> I'm gonna let you introduce this as I, I believe you're gonna be using this one way more than oh, I will. Yes. With your best friend Zero. Me and Zero, we become tight. Don't want to brag. All right, guys. What this is? Let me get the proper name here. Uh. Okay, so this is a teaser one. This is going to be an extremely invaluable tool. Now this works a lot like, uh, we've all seen those cat toys where it's kind of on a reel. You play with the cat. Now what we're gonna use this for is guiding our deaf dog, Zero. He's the little puppy who we've all fallen in love with over the past couple weeks. We've been teaching him a lot of agility, a lot of um, things like that to help work his mind. So this is gonna be used to help guide him through these obstacles help teach him, and I am really stoked to use this, take some videos, have you guys come along with us on that. That's amazing, I didn't even know we got this. And this is from Kona Thayer. Thank you so much, so far this is my favorite thing. That's amazing. And thanks to uh, Alexa Socha, Socha, Socha? Socha, yeah. Socha. We got us a new uh, football. So this is the Jolly Ball. This was actually designed for dogs. It's a little more durable, but they can still get a hold of it as well. But like I said, it's less destructible. I don't know if any of y'all watched our football videos um, when the Super Bowl was going on, but the dogs demolished my football. 
Uh, we also encouraged it. Um, but now we have a football that's actually designed for the dog, so we can still go play football with the dog and not have to worry about going through a bunch of footballs. Super exciting. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay, I think these are from a few people. I'll let name them off first. This is Sarah Skaggs. This one is from Ahmed Mohammed again. Woo, I love him. He's and yeah, he's been he's been man. awesome. And Karen Jacobson. Now, why did we ask for hundred plastic ball packs? Well, we were going to uh, kind of do like a ball pit thing, but that kind of fell out. They said kids, it'd be a liability, so we're not doing that. Instead, we're going to create a snuffle pit for our pigs. Our pigs sadly don't get enough stuff, and we are working to remedy that. But we're gonna start a snuffle pit. And what is that? Well, we're going to have a little ball pit. We're gonna throw treats, toys, stuff like that in there for the pigs to root out. One of the biggest enriching things pigs do is to root. And it is very important for pigs to play, root. They're one of the most social animals out there and crave that kind of stuff. So we are extremely excited to get these. Thank you, we finally knocked out a little table. We still got the big table. Yeah. All right, hang with us, guys. And I got a cool soccer ball. It's not uh, inflated right now, but the cool thing about this soccer ball is like, because a lot the dogs like to roll things, move things, chase things, etc. But this actually gives them something to grab a hold on and bite onto. That's why I like it. But the cool thing is, is we've been doing a lot of play groups right now. I have a play group going on right now of six dogs who all want to play with the same ball, and it's not possible. Now they all can play with the same ball, they can play tug of war with it, they can roll with it, they can kick it, they can do whatever they want with it. So it's a very versatile uh, a toy for the dog that play groups. Hello, <laughs> didn't see you guys watching me. <laughs> well, I've been getting together some of these, I'm not quite sure. Does this seem to me like these, uh, you know, money's getting longer and longer? They are getting much longer, much longer, but we're getting a lot more from our kind donors over here. Yeah, <laughs> but we're seeing a big difference now with more dogs being moved. Uh, we have a lot more, uh, it's a happier environment with all the dogs, you know, and it's a lot more positive environment for the staff and the volunteers who are here as well. Everyone's just having a blast. Dogs are being saved. Like our numbers are increasing. It's everything is in the up and up. Without a doubt. Our dogs, I've never seen our dogs happier or having more fun. I'm gonna fire off a few of these yeah, just put them as quick board. as I can. First, uh, Marcy and Murray Skillsteed. For our special doggy friends, thank you for showing all of them the love and kindness. Each one deserves blessing to use yous and yours. Got a New Jersey accent there. No, that's fantastic. Thank you, Marcy and Murray. I apologize, because these were, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think those are what they go to. I think we already did those, and these fell off a pack, so... Either way, this is a fun toy. There we go, go. okay. We've already talked about the hooks, we don't do that, but like, this is a nice strong ring. Like I said, more outdoor games for the dogs. Multiple dogs can bite onto it. We can play tug of war with the dog. Because we always try to encourage the dogs not to nip us, but to play with the toys bites. as well, and this works out perfectly. This is something I usually keep on to me when the dog is getting nippy. I can basically redirect them to chew on this instead, and then we can play some tug of war. And it's easier, Just slightly, to for them to uh, do, run yeah. around and swing. And it flies really well. Yeah. And it's very durable. Oh, oh. Is this, is this these? Snuck up on me again. This is from Melanie. Another little kind of jolly ball type toy. Ball on a rope. That's Love. probably like the number one toy play with right now in the yard. Yes, without a doubt. We've also got Felicia Welsh, who gave us some rescue wipes. Thank you. Terry Berry, the girl with the amazing name. Another doggy day out lead. Does this mean Terry Berry is going to come and take one of our dogs out? I'd take her for a hike. Maybe she better. Beach. The ball's in your court now, Sherry. We're looking forward to meet you, Sherry. Yes. Shauna F., some of our duck paw nut butter. Giant tennis ball. Oh, yeah. Katie McMullen, looking forward to getting back to the ranch to volunteer. But until then, here's a small gift for the dogs to enjoy. Thank you, Katie. What is it? I, I don't know. A Loran Super Strength nope. Pack. It came in bubble wrap, though, so that's always fun for us. Can't keep these people waiting. You gotta figure out what is this? Baking, frosting, fudge, hard candy, and more flavoring pack. 
Oh, oh, this is for doing sit stimulation with the dog. This is awesome. Yeah. Good. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's like we put it on the wish list and they're like, what is this? Yeah, well, that's what I Why do we do that? No, because we do a lot of the sit stimulation with the dog, so that's why we use it. And there's a lot more still on our wish list that we're still looking for uh, for the dogs. Because we do it for sit work, but like I said, also uh, aromatherapy. But then also, it's just kind of like, even time we can just get them to stop and smell something for a second, I kind of like stop and smell the roses, it always helps. So that's what we try to do. We're always trying to disrupt that brain and making things as positive as possible. For those who are asking about uh, taking the dogs for the doggy days out, um, do we have a certain procedure for that right now? Um, yes, we do. We will be asking people to do orientation. You know, so there are some safety rules that we have to go over for handling. Um, but other than that, it's kind of like uh, you sign up just like a normal volunteer right now. Um, and then uh, you come and spend some time with the dog, and we'll basically uh, help you choose which dog you can sign out to take out with you. Cool. It's super exciting. I can't wait for the dogs to start to get out. Yeah, it's and we also, we do a lot of, uh, like Zach and I, like I said, we do a lot of hikes. We like do a lot of group hikes. And if, if y'all want, please comment below. If y'all want us to announce when we're going to do these hikes, and y'all are more welcome to come and join us. All right, I'm going to fire off a few of these because we've seen most of these toys treats now. We got Michelle James who gave us a real one oh, chew. Yeah, we got to do this one. Oh, giant. we'll set that one for you, Michelle James. All right, Denise Day, one of our most favorite Yay! volunteers here. Thank you, Denise. Brianna Hagstrom. Uh, we have two volunteers behind you who just heard that. Exactly. <laughs> so, sorry, you guys weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> what the heck was this one for? Uh, that one was part of, I believe, Felicia Welsh's. Yeah, guys, we got some big dogs here, and those little rope toys were not enough for them, so we had to go bigger and better, guys, for playing talk more. This is heavy duty, maybe swing it. This is probably going to go straight to Toby as soon as we're done with this video. He's going to love it. Aline Griggs, these are some plushies for some of our soft chewers. They always love these things. Thank you. Also from Aline Griggs, more of the little treat balls. And more treat balls from Lisa Tittle. This will definitely help the dogs. Thank you, Lisa. Aline Griggs has also given us. All right, guys, this is a your plate. This is a, I know it's on, on inflated, but it's a giant like workout ball, like the yoga ball, etc. So we use them for multiple purposes. We use them for uh, balancing or confidence building exercises for the dog. But this one is going to go to the goat. He needs a big giant toy to play around with and run around with and ram. So this is going to go to him before we use it for a workout with the dogs. Another harness for our beloved goat Ollie. We have multiples because wishful thinking. We want to get him a pal very oh, soon. Oh, we want a herd. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna become basically a goat rescue. Don't tell anybody yet, guys. It's a secret. Oh, I've already told everybody. Damn. Yeah. No. That's Felicia Welsh. All of these. Thank you so much, Felicia. Oh, everything we need. Oh, we're getting it all. And then, do we have anything else special over this here? This is something Josh? new. Okay, it's basically a, um, as you see there, it's to help us be more efficient with cleaning. To, as we're taking on more dogs, it's very crucial that we become as efficient as possible and clean as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. The faster we can get everything done, the more time we can spend with the animals. And we're literally, every day, we're adding more and more dogs. So this is when also we're gonna need volunteers to come in as well to help us out to spend more time with these dogs. So thank you to whoever donated this. I know it doesn't seem as exciting as the, the toys and all that, but this actually is going to allow us to have more time so we can spend more time playing with the toys with the dogs as well. So and it looks like someone here also donated um, from CF, another maze ball, which is nice. See, this one has a different um, style, so once they figure out the other maze ball real quickly, we can change it up on them. But they also use a high-pressure nozzle, once again, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, and this is super exciting to make efficient, uh, clean, efficient, and just to be as sanitary as possible here, which is very crucial for us. Also, my mom just joined uh, the, Hi, mom. the watch. Hello, <laughs> mom. Hi, mom. All right. 
So here we got more treats, more of our hugs. These are from Sally J. Newell, both of them, along with some canine connoisseur patellas. We also got some more patellas and another thing of hooves from Melissa Blake. And of course we know what that's for. We get a lot of laundry here, guys. A lot of dirty blankets, a lot of dirty dog clothes. You can never have too much. Our Thank washer you. and dryer never stops. Oh gosh. It never stops. We have two washer and dryers and they move nonstop. Michelle Drollinger, you're the best. A boring gift, but we need it more than anything. Thank you. And... Not great TV. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what else do we got there, Josh? Right, so this is something Jessica wanted. She wanted little smaller stuffed animal toys. As we have, we usually take large dogs here, but recently we've been taking in a couple of puppies here at the ranch. We've also been taking in smaller dogs. So there is a need for the smaller toys, but also as we grow, we'll eventually be opening up our senior area again. And these will be perfect toys for those little guys. So uh, Jessica will be very pleased to see these little toys. And she could personally think Sharon Lamb for those. Anything Finally else? Finally made it to down, guys. We are over the hill. This has been a marathon. <laughs> All you that have stuck around, thank you so much. More of our little treat toys from Pam Bruskin, which is a name I've seen a lot of. Thank you, Pam. Another Jolly Ball from somebody on hey, the we're table. Gonna make <laughs> We're gonna make this happen today. We're gonna go get a picture with Toby with his jolly ball because literally it makes him the happiest dog in the whole entire facility and he'll play with it nonstop. Well, and I don't think it's hyperbolic to say it's the cutest thing in the world. It is. It, without a doubt. The cutest thing you've ever seen in the world. Toby, giant Toby playing with his little ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luana Horse Scots. Another doggy day out lead from. The American Malinois and family. Ooh. We don't have any Malinois, but we have a Dutch Shepherd, a King Shepherd, and a German Shepherd. Well, I like Malinois. It's close enough. Yeah, close enough. They're yeah. close enough related. A little tough stuff, little thrower toy. The dogs love these. <sighs> Let's face it, we got a lot of these toys for us. Josh, dude, you're, you're not supposed to say anything. Camera's rolling. Uh, Rochelle D. Brown. Lori Ott. Gloriot, all right. So I think we explained these in the and last video. Linda but I don't think we explained it in these videos, but they come unscrewed, and then if you put treats in them, and then you put the treats in there, screw them back up, and then you basically just let them try to figure out how to get the treats out. It's they, tremendous. They, could, they like to spin it, they can roll it, they can carry it, it's easy to carry. People so. often think only physical exercise is important for a dog. One of the things almost more important than physical exercise Mental exercise. Thank you. I had Rochelle, Rochelle D. Brown. Rochelle D. Brown, Lori Ott, and Glinda Caballario. Thank you. We're going to get so much hate mail for not pronouncing people. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I feel like the uh, substitute teacher who yeah. comes into class and butchers everyone's name. If you're Can someone who constantly donates and you're tired of us butchering <laughs> your name, uh, come here and tell us personally how to say your name. Okay? <laughs> and we will practice. Write it out phonetically on yeah. your note. <laughs> Another. This is how we recruit our volunteers. We suck our men. Exactly. They name wrong. They get mad. They <laughs> Reverse psychology. Yeah. Get them all he's steamed and then come in. Now, Josh, what is this peculiar toy? No, you haven't got a chance to play with it. I have not yet. Okay, so this is another enrichment toy. Exactly. And then you you put the, the treats in there, and then they can chew on it. They can lift it upside down. But the whole idea is to grab this rope and actually try to use it to shovel the, the treats out. But also, it gives it so many different options. Or this is hard, different textures. You have three different textures to chew on. They have to move it, they can swing it. Oh, you know, it makes the rattling noise once it gets in there. So it's very confusing for the dogs. So the Kong is a very easy toy for the dogs to figure out. And then you have these other ones that we just showed are also easy to figure out. And of course the hoods are easy to figure out. This one is for the dogs who have mastered all the other puzzles and they have to figure this out. And dogs who are extremely treat motivated they will wait until the last treat is out. And this is a really good way to slow their brain by a lot. 
We actually have Rebecca asking how to go about uh, volunteering for us. Ooh, that's a great question, yeah, Rebecca. How, how, how are we sign up with Pam? Yeah, it's more, it's uh, forward slash volunteer. Okay. Well, his meds. Forward slash volunteer. volunteer slash volunteer. Are y'all able to hear her? Yes, they are. are Do you, you want to come on screen? <laughs> no, 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 she no. doesn't. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you. Get a hold of Pam at forward slash volunteer marleysmutz.org. You could Google just Marley's Mutt's volunteer, and it'll take you right to it. We got another little throwing toy and one of these heavy-duty footballs, both from Stephanie. A Felicia Welsh, again. More hooves. Thank you. I think they spend more money on our dogs than their own dogs. That's amazing. I don't know. People Thank usually you, spend a lot of money in rescue. They probably have the most spoiled dogs on the planet. Oh, gosh, yeah. Look at this. We got another jolly ball. Another jolly ball. We this... might actually get close to having enough for every yard. Oh, gosh. And these are all... This is from Marion Wickard, who wrote us four different notes. Looks like she's a big fan of bison. They're coming at you right now. That's oh, going straight to bison, then. That, that's absolutely what it's going to. All right. Bison, find a wonderful home. You are a mix between two of my favorite breeds ever. And you are beautiful. Share your toys. God bless Marion Wickard. Oh, Bison cool. don't share. He's like Joey Triviani. Thanks for all you do. God bless from Marion Wickard. What a wonderful gift you give the world saving dogs from horror. Thank you. God bless. And finally, another little love letter to Bison. Bison. I just love Bison. I have Roddy's Xander as my ninth rot. We play with jolly balls as a tether ball and a throwing ball. Hope Bison and others enjoy as well. God bless all of you from Miss Mary. So I'm glad Wickard. they said that because I actually put on the wish list uh, a, a tethering ball system where you can actually hang it from the pole. And half of our dogs, especially Bison, will be out there playing with it. It's going to be fantastic. I'm so excited to get a video of him playing with it just for you. I never pay attention to these cute notes. Yeah, they're adorable. You have to. <laughs> Find the last. Three. All from the same person. That's amazing. Miss Deborah Ortega, thank you. Some lick pads, some more plushies, and a big thing of rubber balls, both treat and regular. But all kinds of I know it seems textures. like we asked for this a lot, but you can never have enough balls or stuffed animals, okay? So I'm just, my dream is that someone's going to show up with a dump truck full of tennis balls. That's my dream, because like we will use every bit of them. You hear that, Wilson? Better make it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Balls in your court, Wilson Literally. Tennis Balls. Thank you so much, guys. Another month, so much stuff. It was a long one. Do you want it? anything else, Josh? Oh, I was just playing with He's it. just playing with the toys already. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you. All right.